What's up YouTube, this is Kaito Tenji Yuki here bringing to you guys my Heartbeat deck profile. And um, basically this is a completed deck um, without Hysteric Parties, Abyss Dweller, or Excaton Knight. I don't feel like I need to pick them up until I go to a tournament. So anyways, let's just get into the deck. Um, I play 3 Heartbeat Dancer, um, she bounces your Wind Types back. Um, and she also triggers Divine Wind of Mist Valley. And if you know if you have a queen there because of Chandler's effect, um, you can just bounce it back and search with queen. Um, it opens up a lot of amazing plays. Um, that's why I play three of them. Three Heartbeat channel. This opens a lot of plays as well. Basically, this got a Heartbeat card. It can be Heartbeat's Hunting Ground, Heartbeat's Channeler, Heart Heartbeat's Dancer, Heartbeat's Queen, or any Heartbeat card. Um, unfortunately, not Hysteric Sign, otherwise it'd be super broken. But you discard a Heartbeat card, spell summon a Heartbeat from your deck. And that just that just makes your um rank seven and rank four plays um first turn. So she's very important in the deck. And I play three heartbeat queen. Um she searches for your heartbeat hunting grounds just in case you need to pop something. She's a nineteen hundred beat stick with twelve hundred defense after hunting ground, that'll be fourteen hundred. So I would say it's, it works more as a beat stick than a searcher, but um if you need to search, um yeah. And there are a lot of field spells, um, this format, like Badolches and Dark Worlds, um, something you want to consider when you, um, play against them, just search with them. And for the Harpy Ladies, um, I don't use a vanilla one, I personally think it sucks, um, 1800 beast sticks and one with, uh, that gives all your wind monsters 300 attack, I think it's so much better, and basically what these are is they are treated as Harpy Ladies, and you can only play three of the same card in the deck. So I play three. One Tempest. Um, this is my replacement instead of Harpy's um, Harpy's Pet Dragon because um, I think Harpy's Pet Dragon is a crappy draw. Like I don't want to draw into it. I prefer to draw into Tempest since um, you can just hold off. Like you can normal summon or special summon it, but Harpy's Pet Dragon can't special summon it, and it makes the worst top deck ever. So yeah, that's my reasoning. Two summoner monks. Um, this deck plays a lot of spells, some I don't even use. Um, I mean, I do use them, but some that most likely I won't use. And it's usually the Scar Hysteric Sign, which will activate the end phase. Two Maxis. Um, you know what? Maxis are just are Maxis. They're, they're super broken. Pluses for days. Next, we have the spells. I play three Harpies Hunting Ground. Um, basically, you search it with Queen, you get to pop something. And it does all that good stuff. Three Hysteric Sign. Um, basically, when you activate, you can add an Elegant Egotist, which is right here. Elegant Egotist just special summons a Heartbeat Lady or Heartbeat Lady's sister from your ha from your hand or deck. Um, hysteric Sign will let you reuse it. And if it's destroyed, you can add three Heartbeat um, monsters with different names at the end phase. Um, but the problem is you can only activate one effect per turn, so you can't just activate it and destroy it with MST or Harpy's Hunting Ground. The Round Window Mist Rally, um, I think this card is a horrible top deck, um, but it helps out a lot with the um, synergy, you know. The Harpy Dancer, the Tempest, when they get bounced back, you can special summon a Harpy's Channeler. And you can go into, um, uh, you can discard the Dancer you return to summon like a, sh um, like another Harpy, you can you can just summon Tempest, you can go into Draco Sack, and yeah, that's why I think it's really good in the deck. Two MSTs, um, sometimes I need it to destroy my own sign. One Book of Moon, one Forbidden Lance, one Dark Hole, one Mind Control, and that's it for the spells. And for the traps, we have... One Solemn Morning, two Icarus Attack, and for the attack, I played two Mistake because I personally think the card is um like underused. I think it's better than Thunder King Rao. Um, yeah, I just think Thunder King Rao dies to many things, and when you want to, when you pretty much have to get rid of it if they summon like a Dragon Ruler, like Tempest, Tidal, or Blaster. But for Mistake, the only pretty much out is getting a Trap Stun, Decree, or an MST, which I see far far less um, chances than getting Dark Hold, getting Outplayed, and this and that. 
two mirror fours because everyone needs mirror fours. And one bottomless and one dimensional prison. So that's it for the main deck. Um, for the extra deck, um, I play some really weird stuff. Um, for starters, I have my tokens right here. Um, I have more. I just I like these better personally. One Mega Phantom Beast Straker Sack. One Number Eleven Big Eye. Three Lightning Shidoris. One Queen Dragon the Jin. And one Harpies. Pet Phantasma Dragon. Now those are the Harpy cards um, that I can pretty much... Those are like the generic Harpy cards that I would run. And now for the rank 4s that um, are pretty much staples. We, we have number 101 Silent Honor Arc. One Photon Papalopiter. One number 50 Black Ship of Corn. One number 85 Crazy Box. One Utopia. One Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. And one May Shook. So unfortunately, I don't have a side deck um, yet. Um, what I would suggest maining it are effect veilers and maybe an Armady. I might even main an Armady. This is only thirteen cards, I believe. So I'll put Excaton and Dweller, but maybe I would take um, if I have side veilers, I'm gonna take out a Shidori and put an Armady. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think of the deck. Um, I think it's fairly consistent. And hope you guys enjoy the video, and thanks for watching.